Rambo 4. 4. <laughs> Alright. Hiya, I'm Jasper, and welcome to your video review for Rambo, the one from 2008, also known as Rambo 4. So, as always, I'm going to give you good, the bad, and the furry. To start off with, the furry. Eh, probably about the only furry is uh, scaly, and there's a few snakes kind of towards the beginning, and that's basically about it. So, moving on to the good and the bad. Um, with this one, again, I still think that First Blood was the best in terms of character and story. But this one, I think, is best in terms of action and uh, appropriate level of gore. So, um, with this one, they really lean into the R rating really hard. So, you know, they have F-bombs, they have the language, but they really have pretty heavy hits. So, in Rambo 3, you know, when they're getting, uh, when people are getting hit by, you know, cruiser weapons and all that jazz, they're getting killed, but it's just like, oh, another down. With this one, they have holes blown in them, they have limbs blown off, and you can just see it, and, you know, it's 2008, so they didn't quite have the super realistic CGI blood down quite pat, but they had a lot of practical that looked really good, and they also had a, a fair amount of CGI blood that also looked pretty good. So, and then of course they had the audio overall super, super good in this movie, much better than the other three. So, yeah, totally fixed all that. Uh, and what I liked is that this was, uh, Sylvester Stallone was one of the writers, and he was also the director of this film. So you can see the passion behind it. Uh, they also brought Rambo back to the jungle, which I think is appropriate. And I really enjoyed, uh, and I'm not giving anything away here because this is right in the beginning, but I really enjoyed that his character is just, he's just bitter at the world. And it makes total sense, too, because if you think about it, like, you know, he was in the Vietnam War, and then after that he started helping out with the uh, Afghanistan uh, people against the, the Russians, and, you know, and this is, you know, 20-some-odd years later or more, and you can understand if he's been fighting all these different locations for these different people and just seeing that the world isn't changing, why he might be bitter at the world. And I thought that that was a realistic direction to go for a character um, that he has portrayed. And speaking of Sylvester Stallone portraying characters, it's cool to see how much Sylvester Stallone's, like, body and face and whatnot have changed since the original Rambos and to this Rambo. I mean, he's gotten, he's, he was big in those films, but he's gotten big in a different way for these, for this one. So I, I thought that was really cool to see. Um, but yeah, they have a whole lot of action in this one. Uh, people be getting shot and stabbed and, and arrowed and whatnot. So it was, it was a good time. Um, you know, it's more graphic, so just be aware of that. Um, but I think that it it probably did a good job of portraying what um, was going on in Burma, uh, also known as Myanmar. Again, I'm not a, a historian or anything like that, so maybe it is or isn't or it wasn't going on at that in that way. But just because of Sylvester Stallone's involvement and just kind of the history of the Rambo films, I think this is probably a relatively accurate portrayal of how things were over there uh, during that time frame. So, yeah. Uh, that being said, I also think that this was a perfectly good conclusion to the character. I haven't seen any previews for Rambo Last Blood. I'm still excited to see it. I'm sure that it will be well done, but I, I didn't feel like that they, that they needed to have another chapter because this one, you know, it comes full circle, brings him back to the jungle and it kind of shows him where he is. And so I thought this was a perfectly good conclusion. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Alrighty, that's all I have for this one. Hope to see you at the next one. Thanks for coming. Bye.